Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two step problems, specifically how we can use multiplication and division to solve them. We'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a problem here. Nicole's got two dozen cookies each day for three days. She uses four tablespoons of sugar for each dozen that she bakes. So, how many tablespoons is what we're looking for? I'm just going to draw a little box here. This is going to represent each of my days. So, this can be day one, day two, and day three. And we might be tempted to try to break the, the dozen into 12 or 24, but it, it looks like we can just keep it as dozen. So I'm just going to draw uh, two little boxes, and it's going to be one dozen, one dozen. So two dozen each day. So first off, what we can figure out is if she had two dozen a day for three days, we're going to have... Six. So two dozen times, I'm going to use that little dot because that's what we're going to start using for our multiplication symbol in fifth grade and sixth grade rather than the X. So far we've got six dozen altogether. Now, she uses four tablespoons of sugar for each dozen. So underneath each of these dozen we've got four and tablespoons TBSP. I'm just going to write four underneath each of these. And each of those will have TBSP. We're just kind of running out of room here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sets of four. And so we're going to multiply that the six sets times four tablespoon. And then your answer is going to be 24 tablespoons. Because what we did, and so we're going to write our answer right here, 24 tablespoons, because we took our two dozen each day, multiplied that by three days, and multiplied that by four. So if we wanted to put it all together, we would do two times three times four, and that gets you your 24 tablespoons of sugar. Let's look at a different example. So now we've got Mr. Vasquez, and he's buying three bags of mini Snickers bars. So I'm just going to draw, oh, let's draw three big bags here. It's gonna, this picture is going to represent my bags of mini Snickers bars. Each bag contains 27. Those are big bags. 27, 27, 27. Then he's going to put an equal amount of mini Snickers bars into nine bowls to share at a birthday party. So he's going to take these three. And he's going to split them into, and I'll just draw uh, nine bowls here. And we got an extra one right there. There's your, there's your nine bowls. How can we split that evenly? Well, first I've got to figure out how many mini Snickers bars I have. So I've got three bags of 27. So I'm just going to do a little multiplication here. And that's going to be 21. That's going to be 6, 8. So I've got a total of 81 mini Snickers bars. So I'm going to put that right here, 81 mini Snickers bars. And I need to split that into how many bowls do I have? 81 divided by 9. Well, thankfully, that is a multiplication fact I know. If, if you're not sure of it, you might think of it like this as a related fact family. 9 times what equals 81? Well, the answer is going to be... 9. So we are just going to put 9 in each. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. So my answer here is going to be 9. If I wanted to look at this as one big equation, what I did was this. I did 27 times 3. Well, if you want to put the dot, you can put the dot. 27 times 3. And then you divided it by the 9. So that's the, that's the tricky part right there. We multiplied first, and then we divided second. Now it's time for you to try. Go ahead and take a moment, pause the video, see if you can work this problem out. And when you're finished, unpause, and we'll check our answers together. So I drew this up here. I got 6 weeks, 12 hours a week, so 6 times 12 is going to give me a total of 72 hours. She makes $11 per hour, so I just gonna need to multiply those two, and I'm going to be able to get my total amount of money, which is a respectable $792.